Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited, Sullenberger confirmed as U.S. ambassador for ICAO. Also, Airbus completes 100% sustainable aviation fuel study for A350 flight. And Genesis Aerosystems delivers 1,000th autopilot. Happy Monday. Thank you for joining us. I'm your host, Kimberly Kay. Sullenberger confirmed as U.S. ambassador to ICAO. The U.S. Senate has confirmed the nomination of C.B. Sully Sullenberger III to the U.S. Representative on the Council of International Civil Aviation Organization. Chesley Sully Sullenberger, who along with fellow Miracle of Hudson pilot Jeff Skiles, became instantly known on January 15, 2009, when they successfully landed an airliner on the Hudson River following a complete loss of engine power after the aircraft struck a flock of geese. All 155 people on board were safely rescued from the river in an incident that quickly became known as the Miracle on the Hudson. The ICAO is the United Nations Air Safety Organization with a mission to serve as a global forum for international civil aviation. Sullenberger is also EAA Lifetime 1011839 along with fellow Miracle on Hudson pilot Jeff Skiles, EAA Lifetime 336 6120 served as EAA Young Eagles co-chairman for four years. They served as Young Eagles co-chairman from 2009 until 2013, promoting EAA's youth aviation program that has flown more than 2.2 million kids since its introduction in 1992. Their leadership helped bring additional visibility to the Young Eagles flights conducted by volunteer EAA member pilots. After the break, NASA to secure additional commercial crew transportation. More news after these messages. When adventure is calling, the Bori by Aero Volga is the plane you need to answer the call. Bori's composite design is simple, reliable, and economical with impressive performance and no gimmicks. Designed for the wilderness and proven durability in a flight around the Arctic Circle, the Bori has what it takes to handle your next adventure. Featuring two large cargo compartments, a comfortable modern cockpit, and a Rotax 912 power plant, the Bori Amphibian is now available in Canada. Experience the Bori for yourself at FlightSimple.com. Pilot Communications USA is proud to introduce our latest headsets, the Carbon A1 Active Noise Reduction and the Carbon P1 Passive Headset. Carbon fiber makes our headsets 30% lighter than others, which significantly reduces pilot fatigue. Our Blue Link Hand Control Unit allows you to connect two devices at the same time, and the record out capability can send audio to an onboard camera or digital recorder. Get the headset that's so light you may forget you're wearing one at pilot-usa.com. At Diamond Aircraft, innovation is in our DNA. Whether you're taking to the skies for training or business travel, every aircraft in Diamond's lineup features innovative technology, an industry-leading safety record, superior performance and efficiency, and a comfortable flying experience. No other company has pioneered as many aviation firsts, achieved more milestones, or received the same amount of industry praise as Diamond. Discover why Diamond Aircraft is one of the most trusted manufacturers in aviation at diamondaircraft.com. Welcome back with so much news coming out of the aviation industry. We're going to be summarizing some other interesting stories in a brief segment we call Around the Patch. NASA to secure additional commercial crew transportation. NASA intends to issue a sole source modification to SpaceX to acquire up to three additional crew flights to the International Space Station as part of its commercial crew transportation capabilities contract. The additional crew flights allow NASA to maintain an uninterrupted U.S. capability for human access to the space station. After a thorough review, NASA's assessment is that the SpaceX crew transportation system is the only one certified to meet NASA's safety requirements to transfer transport crew to the space station. USAF's 75th anniversary celebration set for Air Venture. The United States Air Force is set for a great time at EAA's Air Venture Oshkosh 2022 as it joins the world's most 
diehard aviation fans and celebrating three quarters of a century since its founding. Following World War II, the Air Force was established as a standalone aviation-focused military arm, breaking from previous standing as the Army Air Corps. Today, the USAF has swelled to more than 325,000 personnel and 5,000 aircraft. FAA reconfigures Boston airspace to minimize noise impact. Under the usual heavy pressure from folks who have chosen to live close to the airport, the Federal Aviation Administration has implemented air traffic procedure changes for Boston Logan International Airport that will reduce the impact from aircraft over flight noise. The first change moves aircraft departing on runway 15 right further north away from the densely populated area near Hull, Massachusetts. The second change moves aircraft on approach to runway 33 left out over the water. U.S. Senator Inhofe secures $1 million in Oklahoma aviation grants. Senator Jim Inhofe of Oklahoma has been awarded two grants to establish an aviation workforce in the state. Issued under Section 625 of the FAA Reauthorization Act of 2018, the senator worked with the Trump administration to establish the programs geared towards the development of aircraft pilots and aviation maintenance technical workers. The Oklahoma Aeronautics Commission and Oklahoma State University obtained nearly $1 million combined in funding from the programs. Well, that does it for today's trip around the patch. Now let's return to the rest of the news. Airbus completes 100% sustainable aviation fuel study for A350 flight. A joint study on the impact of 100% sustainable aviation fuel on both engines of a commercial jet have shown highly promising results in the early phases of analysis, says Airbus. Working with fellow industry veterans Rolls-Royce, fuel production specialist Nest, and German Research Center DLR. The test is the first time that both engines of a commercial passenger aircraft have been run on 100% sustainable fuel, a departure from the norm. The study focuses on the in-flight emissions on the Airbus A350 and its Rolls-Royce Trent XWB engines. Associated ground testing began in early 2021 and has continued with expansion to the program. Additional research publications are expected from the National Research Council of Canada and the University of Manchester towards the end of 2022. The program comes during a widespread push for SAF to bridge the gap between aircraft in service and futuristic, currently hypothetical electric passenger aircraft. Previous studies in the same program tested the results of mixtures up to 50% of newer, greener options, paving the way for today's promising efforts. After these messages, Genesis Era System sets a new record. More news after these messages. There's a difference between charting a steady course and pushing for the ceiling. And for nearly a century, Hartzell Propeller has been defining that difference. It's in our passion for engineering and research and our dedication to testing the limits of performance. We are built on honor. We are Hartzell Propeller. The Zephyr is what you have always wanted. A highly capable two-seat turbine-powered helicopter with great ramp appeal. 100 mile per hour cruise speed, 172 nautical mile range, and to top it all off, a first of its kind emergency airframe parachute system, the Curdy Design Zephyr. Unique, advanced, innovative, and highly capable. Your ultimate freedom machine is available now at zephyr.eu. Welcome back. Genesis Aerosystem delivers 1000th autopilot. Genesis Aerosystems 
part of Moog announced the recent shipment of its 1000th S Tech 3100 autopilot since the model's release in 2018, certified for multiple fixed and rotary wing aircraft, over 200 in total. The two axis and three were appropriate for the installation autopilot has given owners and operators a bevy of enhanced modern features most often found in more expensive systems. The S Tech includes automatic trim, envelope protection, one button straight and level recovery, indicated airspeed hold, altitude pre-select, and alerting capability for inappropriate flight conditions. The autopilot can be used in the traditional modes coupled to GPS, VOR, LOC, HDG, LPV, FMS, as well as vertical navigation for GPS, LPV, GS, VS, or ALT. In the mixed panel aftermarket ecosystem, owners have found the occasional lack of coherence between makes and models, not a concern with the S-Tech. In support, most third-party EFIS displays, as well as integration of its internal Atahars, should an EFIS be absent. The S Tech 3100 is compatible with a number of common aircraft, including the Aviat A1C, Beechcraft Bonanzas, Barons King Air 1900s, Cessna Twins, the Heavyland Twin Otters, Pilatus PC6, Twin Commanders, and some Pipers. Well, that does it for our show today. I'm your host, Kimberly Kay. You can catch episodes of Airborne on Roku and Fire TV. Just search for Aero News or Airborne in the directory, and don't forget to follow us on social media. Thanks for watching.